Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today this is the next video of my series where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning and on this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make forms on React. So like if you want to make a form where you need to input for example your first name, your email, whatever, some information that you want to send to a backend or just deal with it in the front end. So I have this application here, I'm gonna erase everything and now the application is completely empty, right? So let's first create a form in react it's the same as i mean like jsx is the same as html you write the form tag and inside of here you give the inputs so i'm going to give the first input of type um text it's going to be like the first name so id first name then let's close it and let me copy and paste this sometimes let's see okay let's see we need an input for the first name an input for the last name an input for the email an input for the age um actually let me not do the age let me do password and password is going to be of type password right so and let me erase this and just write a button and uh, no actually i'm gonna write an another input of type submit and uh, let me close this and basically this is our form you can see that everything is here i'm going to uh, adjust this so that it looks a little bit better so let me see i'm going to my app.css and inside of here i'm going to erase remove everything here and add a display flex to the and i'm going to wrap everything inside of this form and i'm going to access this form individually through the css in order to wrap everything around it so form i'm going to give it a display flex display flex and let's give it a flex direction direction of column which will make everything stack on top of each other as you can see right here let's also give a padding of like five pixels um five pixels and let's grab the inputs and give it a margin of like three pixels let's see if it works okay yeah it doesn't need to look perfect i'm actually gonna make it 10 pixels and i'm gonna make all the inputs a bit larger so here um width about 200 pixels and height about like 50 pixels maybe let's see yeah it doesn't look perfect it doesn't need to look perfect this is just to exemplify how you can work around this so you can see we have our simple form right here. I'm also going to increase the font size and make it about like 20 pixels. Let's see. Yeah, okay. It looks good. And uh, now we're going back to our app.js file. So inside of here, we have a form with all our inputs and our submit f uh, input, right? So basically, whenever we click this button, it's going to call for a unsubmit property here so you can write on submit and inside of here we can write a function or we can call a function that is going to basically represent what we're going to do when we're submitting the form and the reason why i give an id for all of these inputs is because i'm also going to add a label on all of them so this is going to be first name and i'm going to copy and paste everything here but before i'm going to give a property which exists in jsx called HTML4. Basically, this means that the label is referring to the input with the ID given on the H HTML4 tag. So if I give it first name, it means that this label is referring to this. And this is the same property that exists in HTML, which is called for. But it just changed a bit the name. So less name. And let's change this to less name. And let's do this for all the other inputs. So email email 
and email and password finally okay here password you can see when we save this what happened oh we didn't add anything to the on submit which is basically what we're going to do right now but before we add something to the on submit and you can see that now everything appears Again, it doesn't look perfect, which it doesn't. If you want to see a tutorial on how to work through this with CSS, I can definitely make one, but this video is more focused on functionality. Okay, so what we need is to gather the information from each of these inputs and set them to a state. So as I already taught you guys, to create a state, you need to write const the name of the state. So first name and the function which we will use to alter the state so set first name and equal to use state and we need to give it a initial value which is a string so we give it an empty string and as you can see it already imported the use state hook on the top if it hasn't for you you need to do that too so let me just copy and paste this four five times because that's the amount of inputs we have i think so let me change this to um, last name and last name this is going to be email we actually have four inputs right yeah so set email and also password by the way this is in no shape or form uh, an efficient way of storing passwords or displaying passwords because this is totally insecure this isn't even the way you're going to do if you're trying to create a back-end application again i can make a video on that in the future but just keep in mind this is just for demonstration purposes so yeah let's see now we need to have, find a way to set these values equal to whatever we're writing in the input and as i showed you guys before you do this in react by basically giving each input a property called on change and inside of here you need to write a function and the function will basically take a parameter which is the event which is which just that represents whatever is happening to that input and we just write the name of the function of the state we want to create we want to alter and give it a value of e.target.value this will basically set the state equal to whatever you're currently writing on the input and let me just copy and paste this and do that for every single input and just change the the whatever function we're giving it. So let me do this here. And this is going to be to set last name. This is set email. And this is set password. Okay. So currently we got we are getting every single information from all the inputs and we need to do something with it. Okay, so let's come here and create a function called const submit form equals to something and basically whenever we submit the form we want to handle our information on this function so if we come to our form and we write on submit we can simply pass this function and it will know what to do so submit form and over here we can do whatever we want with this so what i'm going to do is basically i'm just going to for now console log all our information as an object right so we want to create an object which is going to represent the user so user equal to an object and this object will have the following information first name equal to whatever we have in our state last name is equal to again whatever we wrote in our input and email equal to email password equals to password okay and now we just want to console log the user just so we can see it right so if we come here we need to open inspect the element and open the console i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it it's going to appear right here when we click submit so i'm going to write my name pedro my last name my shadow and i'm giving whatever at gmail dot dot com and a password you can see that it won't show anything because again it's just a random password and it won't show whatever you're seeing here if you want to be able to see it you can add a button right here and change this property on the input called password right so if we click submit you can see 
that it actually refreshed the screen. That's why you guys could weren't able to see what was in this in our console log. But if you look really quick, it did console log something, and that's why that's an, an important thing that I wanted to talk to you guys. When you're using forms, it's trying to make a post request. It's trying to submit it to a backend. So that's why it's refreshing the page. And in order to be actually able to see the results on your form, I would recommend for now removing the unsubmit from the form because you're not actually submitting anything to the backend. And this is just the first time you're working with forms and changing this to button and giving it an on click property of the function. Basically, we're just representing this the same thing. The only the only change is that we're not submitting the form to a server we, we're just handling on our react application and we give this a submit form which is basically calling the function we save this and i write everything again um and whatever at gmail.com and i give it a password and we click submit you can see that now it didn't reload the page it just console log whatever we wrote and as you can see everything is working it's submitting the the object which represents all the information we wrote on our input and everything works for now, I don't know why. Oh, I actually didn't give the property here. So let me give it a value of, hey, yeah, let me give, let me change this to submit. And now you are able to see submit on the button. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a simple introduction to how to work with forms in React. This requires a bit of skills previously on React. It requires for you to know how to work with states, how to work with functions, how to also change states and handle inputs. It's also a very good practice because again, this is literally what you're doing in most of your React projects. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stick around if you wanna see more and I see you guys next time.